Yo, Chicago, if you ain't up on the morning riot. 1075 WGCI, Tony Score in the morning riot on your radio on your Thursday with my man Drew from Fake Short Drive. Hollywood what up, Chicago? To Hollywood. We got a special guest. My man Lil Dirk is in the building. Oh, now I need a pretty. Welcome, <laughs> Dirk. Hey, now look, let me just say that last time you was in the building, man, you had the dreads on. You he looked did. like a little young fledgling rapper. The dude walked in here today like, Real I like it. Boy Ooh, a million bucks. Real like a million like bucks, man. Look, I like this look a lot. He had his boobs in his face all. Already, it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. Hey, so Lil Dirk, what's going on? I mean, I hear that there was this conversation you had with Lupe Fiasco yesterday on Twitter. Um, <laughs> you know, just don't get right into it. Welcome home. Nothing out of that. We could talk. Welcome like, home. Yep. Hey, for the people who don't know, uh, uh, yeah. uh, uh, Lupe Fiasco said in the interview that not not specifically saying that Chief Keith scares him, but the movement. The movement. The yeah. music, the culture scares him, and Dirk. And yeah, what you felt some kind of way about that? Jesus. Yeah, we out here. So, mm-hmm. Is that where you live? How you doing? You know, they like me, black. Like, you too rich. I don't like you. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's our music. Right. So yeah. you took offense to that? Yeah, I did. Really? You from Chicago? You supposed to support us? It ain't like we behind nobody killing nobody. But I guess what he was saying was he does want to support Chicago artists. It's just that he doesn't su- want to support the message with bang bang and all those kind of you know. There's gun violence in Chicago. And how do you feel about that? Are we, are we, been, are we doing good enough? I know. I, I understand what you said, Dirk. But at the end of the day, can you can you not? And, and, and those who are involved in your movement, can you guys not understand? the concern for what's going on in the streets of Chicago right now and the soundtrack, the music that, that's being played. Can you not even at some point understand what they're saying? Yeah, I know what they're saying, you know but... You what I mean? Yeah. Okay, like, I'm not change your style for Lupe said. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> I feel, my, my question is this. When does it become too much? Like, I know you guys do what you do, but then when you got somebody like a little Mouse... Who's like 12, 13, could be your younger brother. Can't even hold when, the when do you, when, Right, he can't even hold the 30 shot. You he know? had it. But, <laughs> I'm not saying, right? but I'm just saying, when does it, when does it, when do you kind of be like, okay, maybe I gotta now talk just to the shorty shorties. shorties. Right. Maybe it's just getting over the top with the shorty shorties. I get it, you guys are teenagers, y'all out here. But I don't think a guy like Mouse should be out here. When does it become 12, exploitation, 13? I guess, is, right. is what he's saying. I don't know, I can't speak on that. Name. You said you got a video with Lil Mouse coming out. I see you. Right, but what I thought was interesting is that, you know, Dirt, at the end of the, the conversation, called for a ceasefire. So, I mean, even though he might make that music, he did call for a ceasefire and said, yo, look, enough is enough. So I commend you for taking yep. a stand and saying that. And right now, let's just take this opportunity, man. If you can't speak to the streets of Chicago with what's going on right now, knowing, you know, the movement that you represent, what would you say to the streets, Lil Dirk, right now? And just we doing what we do to try to keep on and support our family. You know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to hide who's dead, man. Right. So, but this is our music. But would you, you know like to see a ceasefire in the streets of Chicago right now? Yeah, would you like to definitely. stop seeing uh, uh, this? this if just ceasefire, if ceasefire told me to go perform at something right now, I'd do it. Okay, yeah. okay nice. nice. Good to say. That's good. Now, just a little rewind back to what Tony was saying the movement that you represent. What is the movement that you represent for those who don't know? The Hunter Movement. Right. And what does that mean for people who don't know? 300 is like, that's like our trademark. That's like us. Why 300? Because we used to be like the movie. Have like you the seen movie. the video? You see how many people in the video right. with no shirts on? 300 of them. <laughs> in every video. One video was 297. But, <laughs> but look, like, like, that's the, 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 the look that you have and the, um, let's say when you speak, you're, you're very intelligent when you say things in well-mannered ways. When you rap, can you use different lyrics that don't involve gunfire and gun violence? Can you do that? And do you choose to do that, or will you continue out of, like, habit? You know how I feel. But, but you're not one of the ones that just, like, to me, to just use it, like, as an overabundance. You've made records with different subject material and things like that, and you're not one of the ones that just, like, I think do it just to be doing it. Like L's right. anthem. That's like a tribute to right. me. That's Anything not really a check. A- uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Well, sing anything. Right, right. 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 <laughs> anything to get a check. And, and you know, he has the, the deal with Def Jam now, so now you have a lot more power and a lot more people are going to be looking up to you. So I know he's going to use his, uh, you know. How much How much more have you gotten involved in the business side of the game? I know you was an MC, you're doing your thing lyrically, 
but it seems like you, you know, you, how focused are you on the business side? You know, how much do you talk to guys like Reese and Keith about, about the business side? Because you seem like you're trying to get your, your business on. You're trying to get a few commercials here with that look, <laughs> right. man. Oh, everybody, so, everybody in their glory right now. You know what I'm saying? You can't really, but everybody just taking off. You can't really talk to nobody about that. Okay. Mm. Mm. But you guys are still a movement together. You guys are still a yeah, team doing yeah, thing. Yeah, all the time. But it just... You've been waiting on it for so long. I'm gonna just stay in your glory for a minute, then you will see down the line. Okay. Okay, now as far as you, what's up with your project? When can we expect some music from you? You know, what's going on? Who have you worked with so far? Getting your project together. What's happening? Uh, I'm doing a Feed the Street Sunday to my music. All right. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's October. Mm -hmm. I'm doing like industry beats every Sunday. Mm -hmm. Drop right. industry beats to my music. Just free, down, right. just free, free download. Just free download. Weekly free download. Yeah. My mixtape right. from October. Right. Trying to get drama on um, Moon Dog. Is there anything that you want to address That'd or be say easy. freely um, before we let you go? Because we know we got a busy schedule. Is there anything that you want to say? Just to put it out there. I mean, is there anything you want to say or anything that you want to address that have come, things that have come your way, things that have been said about you and your movement? Is there anything that you would like to put an end to or just like address right here, right now? Misconceptions about Lil Durk. Yeah, there's a lot of criticizing. Mm -hmm. Just because you hear something about Chicago, it don't mean it's a little dirt. Okay. Okay. Get my name out the clear right so now. So you're saying you're not responsible. <laughs> something for the club. Right. You're not responsible for stuff that's going on. And it's not fair for people to hold you guys to that standard that because you do drill music and what you do, that perpetuates the violence that goes on in Chicago. Well, it just seems like people be hating. I ain't. People be hating me. Right. Mm -hmm. I just hate me. At first, you buy not mixing. Now you saying we. It's our music. Just make people die. I mean, tape ain't hold no gun, kill nobody. Yeah. People right. doing it, so. Yeah. Yo, weekdays starting at 5 a.m. Only on GCI.